we had developed a flashing, which for those who don't know is effectively a product to avoid water ingress into your roof if you have like a bolt going through it or a mm-hmm. screw. The problem was a product where you did not have to pry up shingles, which is traditional flashing. You do need to do that, which risks tearing the shingles, but then also had a sealant pre-installed in it because we heard from many installers that some of their leaks were caused by crew members just simply forgetting to install sealant. You know, you have a new crew member on the roof and they're going fast and, hey, did you put sealant on those ones over there? Oh, yeah, I did. Well, he meant the other array, not, you know, not array four or whatever. Right. So um, how do we have a pre-installed sealant? And that led to this whole, I mean, really rabbit hole of sealant development. It's a custom formulated sealant that we had to create. No way. Um, that doesn't need to have any kind of liner or packaging around it. But it started with the problem. That was the key thing. It started with the problem. We didn't have something and try to force it into, you should buy this. It was, this is really the problem we needed to solve. Yeah. So we had a lot of ideas that we have scrapped through that process. Good ideas that, that some of us really wanted to see, you know, out in the market, but it's honing back to what really is the problem set. And that's kind of what led to it. My hope is that the work that we will have done will have truly enabled a faster adoption of solar through lower cost hardware, through a higher accessibility to a better technology, to enabling more people to enter the industry who may not have the uh, resources or training through easier products to work with, and to enable products and to push the industry to really focus on delivering something that lasts a long time Mm. and isn't just going to be replaced in five years.